Cyril. Hi, Steve. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for being here, brother. Tell me, what's on display? What so, are you hitting up at the PCE show this year? So here what we have, we have everything that is related to transport, mostly focusing on internet, up to 100 gig. So we have two of our platforms that do 100 gig, that are pretty advanced because they are extremely compressed in terms of size. Right. We also have uh, something from the past, from uh, Sunrise Telecom, we acquire them, and this is a new version of MTT that has more than 60,000 chassis deployed wow. in the world. So we refreshed the platform, we added a camera, a GPS, to be the technician of the future. Wow. So that has a camera in it, so if the technician gets into trouble and they can't work it out themselves, they can bring somebody else in to look at they the problem? They can do that. They can also document their works. You know, one of the big problems... Make sure they were there and... One yeah. of the things that you see at home is you install something at a home and as soon as you leave, a customer goes there and change it <laughs> because he didn't want the modem where it was. <laughs> so if you have a documentation of that, you can that's say, well... very, very cool, man. You need to pay me to fix your problem. Yeah, so that, that's... I, I have not seen that in, a, in another... This is new. Uh, it also does a barcode reader. Yeah. So actually, when you activate a set-up box or a modem or any kind of access device, you can read the barcode yeah. and automatically tie it to your billing system. Yeah. Because that has many ways of communication, so it's yeah. always communicating with a network yeah. and you that know, brings us to something that ahead. is vision all right and vision is a cloud-based platform that we have that make all the test set and the probe talk together yeah and you know as well we're talking a lot about sdn and nfv and when you look at our probes they are very powerful to be, allow you to define the network right and to proactively monitor it right in the cloud in the cloud so i mean how many probes you need if you're running, say, an enterprise cloud versus a telecom cloud? Then. Well, normally the cloud... The would it sit in the data center? No, the probes normally will sit uh, before you leave the central office okay. of the head end. Okay. So you're talking about a lot of probes. Right. Well, that's I good mean, business for you. Right? Yes. Yeah. Very good. And that goes with our latest acquisition. We acquired Digital Lightwave, which was another test and measurement company that has right, some very, that. very interesting probes. Yeah. for doing deep packet inspection and uh, a lot of advanced protocol yeah. analysis. Do you do the pulling together of all of that information into yes. a central place? That's part of your business as well? Yes. Wow, okay. So how is that? How are you collecting the information? Just straight over the network? Yes, yeah, so normally we have dedicated uh, virtual LAN that are connected to the pros because we are so remote to, very, to make sure that we have a bandwidth. So we do an estimation of the bandwidth that you need depending on how many probes you put yeah. on the site. And that goes back to our data centers where we, the data centers where you have a, the servers that do the analysis. I know one of the big features that, that you specialize in at VX that your customers love is the modularity of the products, right? Can That's you correct. Talk to me a little bit about that. So modularity is you start with something then as you grow, you can add modules, or as you know very well, the technology change. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of big push on DOCSIS 3.1, but 3.1 that you deploy today is not a 3.1 that you're going to deploy next year in two years. So if you need to buy a new test set every time, yeah. from the CapEx standpoint, it doesn't work. So actually with modularity, then you can just slap a new module and get upgraded. Yeah. And also you can have multiple technology. However, what we do is actually, we try to provide the customer with the option of both. Yeah. This is the same thing as this one without the modularity. Of course, this one can do more because you can put an OSA, you can put a, a DWM or TDR, you can put a lot of other things. Yeah. This one you kind of set to three or four options, yeah. but yet they are just enough for the customers. So you have both worlds. Yeah, and that, that, that kind of flexibility is, is unique, I think, in this particular level of testing range, yes. right? Yeah, that's We have cool. tried to use our hardware the same way that we do software. Yeah. Reuse it. Yeah, yeah. So you don't keep on well, doing hardware. I know that that's been a huge problem in test and diagnostic is the, the speed, the rate at which the technologies change and the fact that everybody keeps on having to just, yeah, you know, throw out an entire generation of testing equipment and it seems like you found a solution here. Uh, what about the processing power? Is that an issue with that? The processing power actually is dedicated on hardware that is programmable. Yeah. So actually we normally have no limitation of what we really? can do. The processor, what you will call a processor compared to a tablet or a PC, yeah. it does the same thing. Yeah. It's for the display and the, the back and forth with the processing engine. Yeah. So you really don't need a very fast processor. And you talked about tablets. I, I noticed this thing here. This looks pretty cool. This looks like the interface from one of these, but just sitting on a, a, a on a on a uh, an iPad or any type of screen like That's that. Correct. So how is this pulling the information from the network through locally? This is the tech of the future. So there's a lot of push that a lot of service providers have equipped the technician with tablets that have their workforce, that have a lot of Absolutely. tools inside. Yeah. And we say, you know what, since we have that and we want them to collect data for us, 
why don't we have a test and measurement available yeah. on that? So actually, all these meters can be used on what we call uh, no screen. So I suppose you still have a screen, but you don't operate the meter, you yeah. operate from a tablet. But really, the push is here. So what is so, this? What is this? Do? This is an OTDR. Yeah. So this is one of the smallest OTDR in the world, one of the lowest cost, yet yeah. you don't sacrifice performance. Right. It works the same as the big OTDR. Wow. And this is actually superb because it's extremely portable yeah. and you can run it on any of these machines, of course the tablets. Yeah. And yeah. I wouldn't say that there's more coming into this form factor <laughs> right. because but this yeah, is the future. But it does seem like that's the direction you want to go in. So basically at this point this becomes uh, the standard kind of unit and then everything is being controlled and, and exactly. pulled down from here. You can yeah. actually clip that on your belt and you forget That's unbelievable, about it. right? Yeah. And it's wireless, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi depending on what you want to do. Yeah. Or you can actually use USB even if you lose power. Do you think that's the main thing that, that VX is bringing to this market in terms of disruption is the form factor? Because, I mean, you're known as disruptive. You made, made a lot of the, you know, the test and measurement market was pretty... Uh, stable for a long time until you came along, right? And business is good for you. I, I always use the example is when we started in the 10 gig business, a 10 gig tester that was only doing 10 gig was mm. costing about $60,000. We I remember this. We yeah. came with a test set that was actually in this form factor. It was actually the grandfather of this one that was doing T1 all the way to a C192, 10, 101,000, 10 gig, fiber channel for less than $40,000. Yeah. And then the price pretty, went pretty down. Pretty easy to make money when you do that, exactly. right? Exactly. Now you get that for sub $10,000. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. And so the form factor is definitely something we try to do to try to be extremely sexy yeah. and attractive. But also one of the things that we did is all this cloud that we put around it. Yeah. And allowing customers to manage their meters. It's not just a meter. It's a device that I use every day that yeah. I rely on. Yeah. You've done a couple of acquisitions. Obviously, they're really, you know, they were uh, strategic. Uh, do you feel like you need to do any more? We have a few things that we think about. Really? I yes. mean, the company's growing really fast, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, where do you think it's going to end up? What's your What's your hopes for VX? I well, mean, because it is. It's. I know it's a very profitable, very fast-growing business, very successful business. Where do you want to take it, Cyril? Well, for us, we're really motivated on the on the platform, the cloud, and the. SDN, NFV, and what we can do. We're also looking at deep packet inspection. Wow. And also we, we, we think that there's a, there's a void yet on the uh, intrusion. Yeah. We have dealing with customers, and I can't say too much about it, on uh, extremely attack. And I yeah. would not also say the country that has been attacking. Yeah. And it was very vicious on certain routers that you could not detect. Wow. And by seeing that, we, we noticed that there were a lack of understanding both from the service provider community, but also from the tools that were available to be able to go fetch this so, problem. So what is so that's something which you think needs to be developed? Yes. Okay. And what's your time frame on I that? Don't you don't know. want to say. Yes. You don't want to give too much away. You know, I understand. The beauty of that is You've well. obviously been busy though. I mean, this is really cool. Is this new? Is this new at the show? Yes. This is actually something we had for, for a while, but with a tablet and all the flexibility working on all the platform, mm. it's new. Well, it's very cool. I like it. Very good. We have a lot of time for VX, as you know. Thank very you, good. Cyril. Thank Always you, a pleasure. Steve. Thank you.